There's a river meeting this little creek flowing in together. It's way down. Peace and love, brother and sister, down here in Alabama. Old Man River just keeps rolling along. <laughs> He don't say nothing, he just keeps rolling them all. <laughs> well, sometime I, uh, you say you love God. Sometimes I think <laughs> we love the God of our own imagination or of our own invention. Oh, I love God. I sure love. I love Jesus. I used to be in that Jesus movement. I guess I am now too. But... Oh, we love Jesus. But then I found out I love the Jesus that uh, <laughs> that the world gave me. The, the, the Jesus that uh, loves everyone. But did you know, brothers and sisters, there was a song back in the 60s, something is wrong with my baby, something is wrong with me. Well, uh, Move to a little better spot. Well, you can see up and down the river. Something is wrong with my baby. Something is wrong with me. See, brothers and sisters, they've got us trained to believe that love is uh, an entirely different thing. That God's love, God can't hate anybody. So if if we're holding on to the uh, to the doctrine of free will. I see brothers and sisters out there. I comment on this channel sometimes, <laughs> and you think that uh, I think I remember. I think in what Paul said, uh, "Am I become your enemy now that I'm telling you the truth?" But that's what happens. You become their enemy when you say, "Look, that's not love." A uh, love, love is is if you, you care for somebody, if you love them, brothers and sisters, you're interested in their needs. You provide for them, brothers and sisters. It's not love. Uh, it's not love, brothers and sisters, to uh, consign to hell, everlasting hellfire, somebody that you love. <laughs> Just think about that for a minute and think, man, have I been deceived? Yes, you've been deceived. God has those that he loves and those that he does not love. When you find that out, then, and you say, I love Jesus, then you're coming closer to the truth. Really, it's not that we loved him, but that he loved us, brothers and sisters. So God has a divine love for his people. His people. Brother and sister, God has a people. And like I said in my other video, most of, most of God's people start out with a living subject. And it's the gospel or this message of the gospel imparts eternal life. Well, that's not true, brothers and sisters. That's not true. So if you're believing in a God that loves everyone and that the deciding factor is the will of man instead of the will of God and that you start off with a, a living subject and rather than a dead and trespasses and sins, uh, Rather than the view that, that, that the, the child of God is dead in trespasses and sin before he's quickened by the Holy Spirit and been brought to life, well, then you're bring, brought to life, then you're, you're holding to another gospel, like brothers and sisters. And, and, and that kind of love is, a, is a, a presumptive love, you know. The God, uh, or assumptive, yeah, <laughs> assumptive. It's, it's, you're loving a God of your own assumption. You just assume the God is this way when he's really the, the other way. He's a sovereign God. 
But anyway, yeah. Yep. When, but sometimes when you'll then try to impart this on the internet, it'll be like, oh, who is, what is this crazy thought this man's bringing? When really, it is the faith that was once delivered to the saints, brothers and sisters. Which means everything. So, uh, I'm wanting to stick to God's plan, brothers and sisters. Man has a plan, but God has a plan too. And I uh, just want to show you this pretty river flowing by. And share with you a little something while we're watching it flow by. But we live in a, a, a time when uh, the will of man is elevated above the will of God. And it's, it's uh, people are dumbfounded when you say, no, God doesn't love everybody. Uh, do you, just think about it in your own family, brother and sister. Is there anything anybody that you love can do wrong that would cause you to uh, damn them to a devil's hell? No. So I think we need to leave the sheep and the goat issue to God and look into this a little bit closer, brothers and sisters. Just stop praying there. You see how muddy the water is right here? And, it, and it's meeting up down there. The Indians used to live on this river before we, before a white man ever got here. They had never heard the name of Jesus. They called it uh, the river of painted, Chattahoochee, river of painted rock, painted rocks. <laughs> it was real rocky before they got all the dams in. But I, uh, br uh, brother, sister, no, God had people every every kindred and every tongue. That means every tribe, every tribe of Indians, God has a people. I'd rather leave it to his plan, brother, sister, whether, rather than the will of man plan. I tell you what, if it was up to me, I'd botch it tomorrow. That would be the worst news in the world that it, uh my my will decided <laughs> my own destiny. I would rather leave it up to God's will. That room's that leaves room, brother sister, for this great multitude that no man can number when you leave it to God's will. Man's eternal destiny. Just like to give you something pretty to look at instead of me while I'm giving this serious subject here. No? I said I said on some other videos that it's a Christ dishonoring doctrine it's a Christ dishonoring doctrine that the will of man trumps the will of God and uh, no, do I believe that everybody has to believe like I believe or do I believe all these different religious orders are full of people going to hell no brothers and sisters they are full of people that know not what they do. They have been taught from a child, uh, from their, you know, from their upbringing, you know. This, uh, they even throw in this, uh, uh, to, to make it work, <laughs> to make their doctrine work, they have to throw in the uh, uh, age of accountability assumption, which is terrifying in itself, brother and sister. That when you reach this age of accountability that nobody knows about, nobody, this unknown to anyone age of accountability, and uh, then you, then you, uh, God starts holding you accountable. No, God, uh, if you're if you're beloved of God, at God's appointed time, the Holy Spirit, like the wind, will come and quicken that person, that beloved child of grace, to eternal life, and they'll forever in the family of God. That's how it works. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Anyway, I just had to throw that in because I always do. But I'm doing it while you're watching this pretty world of roll, roll by. Got some company down here <laughs> on the water this evening. 
But I thought that was all I wanted to say, that I've already said it a hundred times before, but some, I like to say it sometime with something pretty to look at. God's nature, the old Chattahoochee River. River of painted rocks, the, the Indians used to call it. When you get to heaven, you're going to see some Indians in heaven. Never heard the name of Jesus. But the Holy Spirit paid them a visit also, brothers and sisters. That's my view on the matter down here in Alabama today, brothers and sisters. No, do I believe every, if they don't believe like I believe? They don't have to believe anything. Little children, what do they believe? You think God has uh, uh, all these children that have died in their mother's wombs, the people that have aborted? And uh, do you think all those people, uh, uh, God has consigned to hell because they didn't reach the age of accountability? God forbid. No. Brothers and sisters, God is rich in mercy. If you don't remember any other verse, remember this one. Yeah, and look it up on your phone because I don't know where it is exactly right now. <laughs> but God has great love, not small love, and rich mercy. And leave all everything else up to him. He's a sci he decides every man's destiny. And he began a good work in you and he's going to complete it. But anyway, peace and love from us all board down here now. can help somebody out there. Peace and love for us old boy down in Alabama. Ooh, I've got a bird trying to get in my back window. Look at that. What's he doing? Nature's breaking through here. <laughs> He's on my windshield wiper. <laughs> you see it? <laughs> anyway. Where did I leave off? Oh. Didn't come out. Oh, look over there. You can't see that. But there's turtles all over that rock or that log across that on the other side of the river. Let's see if you can get it big enough to see it. May hold it still. There's a log out there over on the other side. Right in the middle of the screen, there's, there's turtles all over it. In the summertime, they'll be all over those rocks. I get a kick of that, out of that. But anyway, every time I get ready to leave, I think of something else to say. Well, no, brothers and sisters, uh, God has a plan. Though the mountains fall into the sea, I'm not going to let that bother me because God has a plan. And he's keeping you, you're not keeping him. Peace and love down here in Alabama.